This is it then. Hi, my name is Jack Williams and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here and you're into the outdoors and exploring and mountains and the like, please make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Okay, so anybody who isn't new here may have noticed I've not really made much of a video uh, this year, I think, and there's a number of factors that have contributed to that. Everything from lockdowns, poor weather, the fact that my wife and I uh, have had a second child. All these things have definitely had a bit of an effect on my video production quantity. Um, but I am back now uh, with a new video, as you can see, and also um, one that's a little bit different. Now I am going to be putting together tutorial videos, how-tos, guides, uh, gear reviews, all that kind of stuff as I was doing before. There's going to be some of that coming very soon. There's going to be more gear reviews. I'm really excited to get stuck into that. But this video is different because actually I'm introducing a series of vlogs uh, that are connected to a challenge that I've got coming up that starts today, really, um, and is going to last the next 100 days. In 100 days time, I am going to be taking part in the Ultra Trail Snowdonia 50K Ultra Marathon. Now, for anyone who knows me, you'll know that I have a love-hate relationship with running. For very brief periods of time, I love it, and for the vast majority of the time, it hates me. Taking on this challenge uh, is definitely going to be a big one because really, over the next 100 days, I'm going to be pretty much going from couch to ultra. Now, a few disclaimers, because I say couch to ultra, that is a bit unfair. I have spent the last few weeks getting out and about, running a few 5Ks. I've actually got myself up to a comfortable 10 plus-ish, 12-ish kind of K runs. Comfortable is the wrong word to use there. Survivable? I live to the end of them? That's probably more appropriate. So I have developed some foundation for running. Most importantly, I've sort of gone out there, tested the water and established that this is something that I have the potential to, to, to do. Uh, so something that I have the potential to complete. I didn't want to start this challenge. Week number two, 5k, no thank you, I'm done, I'm out. So that's disclaimer number one. My second disclaimer is that a few years ago, I actually completed my level three personal trainer qualification. Now you're probably thinking, oh great, okay, so you've spent a couple of weeks running and you're actually a personal trainer. Well, on the absolute, the actual last day of my personal trainer qualification, I actually got told that I probably have testicular cancer. And it turns out I did have testicular cancer. And frankly, um, it put a bit of a downer on things. And the personal trainer qualification has really since then been swept under the rug. Uh, yes, this is going to be a big challenge, particularly because I'm new to it, to this level, but there is a tiny little bit of a foundation, a sort of dusty old broken foundation uh, that probably is going to help me a little bit. So to suggest this is couch to ultra is wrong, but to suggest this is very much a beginner runner to ultra, to mountain ultra marathon is 100% true. So the reason for the vlogs is, as I've mentioned, I want to share my journey. I want to share my training. I'm going to be chatting to uh, coaches, to the event organizers, all kinds of people to help you. If you're sitting there thinking, or, you know, I enjoy the odd bike ride, the occasional short run or a, or a decent hike, but how can I possibly imagine getting into something like a 50 kilometer ultra marathon uh, in the mountains? Well, hopefully over the course of the next 100 days, as I release uh, vlogs, one per week. I'll be looking at all kinds of different aspects of it from training to technology to equipment um, to try and help you potentially follow along in the same step so that you can reach a similar goal yourself. So I've mentioned equipment, I've mentioned gear, um, something that I'm going to be looking at and definitely I'm not going to say that you need the absolute best gear to go out and do an ultra marathon. You need to go dig deep into your, into your wallet, into your pockets and go and buy the best gear uh, out there. You absolutely need to do that. You don't, 
However, I'm going to be looking at everything from training to equipment as much as I can to help me increase my chances of a better performance on the day. So do I think you need the best kit? Do I think you need to spend a fortune on equipment to run uh, a, a mountain ultra? No. Do I think that having kit that doesn't chafe, isn't falling apart, that is you know, more waterproof or more breathable or better fitting is going to help you? Yeah, I do. And that's one of the things I'm going to be looking at a lot throughout. Uh, so really, as I'm getting started, um, I want to say a massive thank you to the folks who have already uh, helped me out or are helping me out with this journey. Not least, Coros Watches. I think you can see that there. I don't know if it's focusing. These guys make some really incredible activity trackers. Um, this is the Vertix um, watch, like I said, I'm not, I'm not really going to dig into it now, but I want to say a massive thank you to them for sending me this. Coros have also sent me this little nifty gizmo here, super tiny. I'm sure it's pretty hard to see from there. Um, this is called a pod, so it's a performance optimization device. Ooh, hope I got that right. Um, this really taps into all the information that your watch can't quite uh, sort of tap into. So that's going to tell me things like cadence, stride length, uh, timing contact with the ground. Again, I'm going to go into all kinds of detail with this kit on specific videos, focusing on what they do and why they might benefit you in both your training and also on the day. Uh, but really just now I want to say a massive thank you to Chorus for, for hooking me up with those these pieces of kit. Uh, so thank you. Also a big thank you to Runners Need. Unfortunately, I don't have the kit at the moment to show you, but these guys as well are sending over some stuff uh, to help me out on running as well, make amazing footwear. Again, unfortunately, I don't actually have the kit right now to show you, but I want to say a massive thank you to On Running as they're sending me. I actually currently use a pair of their running shoes, but they're sending me another brand spanking new pair, nice and shiny, no miles on the clock. And actually, these ones are going to be waterproof as well. Finally, High Five as well um, have been good enough to send me or will be again sending me a package of awesome energy providing and rehydrating kit to help me get through some of the longer training runs and of course ultimately the ultra marathon closer to the day. Okay, so those are my thank yous. Um, okay, so what next? I'm actually going to go out for a run very soon uh, with a running partner. I'm actually hoping to dip into 15k. We'll see how that plays out. It's going to be on trail. And to be honest with you, we tend to talk a lot. So it's not going to be the fastest run. For each of my runs, or for as many runs as possible, the more significant ones, I'm going to be sharing all kinds of awesome 3D videos from Relive. I'll have all my Strava data. I'm going to pop links to Strava data uh, in the description below. So you can sort of follow me on there, take a look at sort of all the real life data that's coming along with the runs. I've got my Kamut account as well. So these are runs or should I say these are routes that I'm plotting ahead of time, give you loads of information um, on the route, distances, terrain types, so on and so forth, elevation. So I'll pop a link into my account as well, my uh, below, so, so check that out if you want to sort of use any of the routes. Otherwise, I think that is it for now. The next step, uh, go and stick my running shoes on and get cracking, really. I want to thank you very much for being here and joining me for this journey. Um, I'm as excited as my knees are nervous, but as challenging as I think it's gonna be, I think it is gonna be a lot of fun. I am looking forward to it. So yeah, before I go, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. If you've enjoyed this video, even just a little bit, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you soon for another update via my vlog. And also, like I say, I've got more kit review videos en route as we speak. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.